Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Dearly senior citizen here, greetings boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this a brand new spanking hot, fresh, and straight from the oven reaction video. I can't stop my mouth from talking. Good lord, where was that sentence going? Still, it is a reaction video, and that's a very good thing. In fact, we are reacting to Animal Collective with the song My Girls. I really have a very soft spot in my head. A soft spot in my heart for the group Animal Collective. So I am looking forward to this. I had no idea what to expect. The more I learn about the group, the more I like it. So thumbs up on that. Definitely a thumbs up. Yeah, a thumbs up would be a thumbs up, wouldn't it? Ugh. I can speak English. Thumbs up for that. Ugh. And of course, if you can interact quickly with the YouTube algorithms, maybe toss me a like if you like what you see in here. Or, you know, subscribe to the channel if you like and, and see what you hear. <laughs> I do all my reactions from suggestions in the comments, so if you want me to react to something, I drop a suggestion in the comments. I'll put it on the list and see what I can do. Yay! And I don't know what device you're watching this on, but in the show more, there's all sorts of links. If you could check that out, that'd be indefinite. I got a Patreon, so if you wanted to become a Patreon patron, that would be very cool. More importantly, though, we are going to react to this video. Now, I don't know if there's a video for it. If there is, likely I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, YouTube copyright. It's not YouTube's so fault. They have to live with ancient, antiquated laws that other people can abuse. It's not their fault. Doesn't make it any better, though, does it? So, I'll just likely be reacting to the song. If there is a video, yay for that. But, let us watch whatever there is. Let us listen to, let us enjoy the very best part, and let us react to Animal Collective, My Girls. Right. Now. Okay. Okay. Ah, that must have been a bridge between the previous song to this one. Drank soda. Okay. Sounds like we've hit a note loop. English. Okay. I need to stop trying to intellectualize and I need to just emotionalize. <laughs> Experience. This is a very complex soundscape. That is some deep layering. Yeah, I, I keep trying to hear the lyrics and I can't pick them up. Which, likely a me thing, unless it's mixed that way. Okay, 
every time you sign this. Okay. I like the, I like what I'm hearing. I keep trying to follow the lyrics and I can. Again, a me thing, unless it's deliberately mixed that way. But you don't have to understand lyrics to like a song. I understand this one. I've come to a definite understanding with my relationship to this song and all that. I was trying to determine that I've got it all figured out. And <laughs> yeah, this is a an experience, not an intellectualized thing. And as such, it's not set up as a, well, it, to me, it seems it is not set up in a standard deliberate song fashion because it's not delivering a standard deliberate song. It is his own thing to be experienced and not intellectualized, he says, intellectualizing the experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to laugh at myself and I have to move my chair because the little wheels, they're banging in my feet. That was good stuff. Now, again, I was saying I understood my relationship to it. It's not a song that I would listen to as something to think about. Like if I'm doing nothing and I just want to put on some music, that is not the kind of thing that I would just straight put on. Because I cannot directly intellectualize with it, but only experience. I keep wanting to say emotionalize. Because I, it's only to be experienced, it's not something that I can really dig my teeth into that way. But this is the perfect sort of music to put on the background and listen to as I play a game and have that running. Where I'm concentrating on what's happening there and just can feel and experience the music that way. Or, if I'm tidying up, this is the sort of thing that I would listen to to put on in the background. That's not a bad thing. That's good. I like experiencing music. It's definitely a thumbs up on that. Gotta be honest, as stated, not something I would just put on to listen to. But to put on and have in the background while I'm doing other things so that I can experience it in that secondhand fashion? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's good stuff. Animal Collective is good stuff. Definitely a thumbs up on that. And of course, real quick, uh, if you could toss me a like and interact with the YouTube algorithms, very, very cool. If you could subscribe to the channel, if you like what you hear and see, and you haven't already, of course, that too would be awesome. Uh, and wherever the show more for the video description is, there's links to all my various channels, uh, to my Patreon, PayPal, there's an Amazon wishlist link. If you check those out, it'd be cool. Don't feel obligated. The only thing I really ask you to do is, well, hey, watch and enjoy the video. Definitely a thumbs up on that. And again, that's good stuff. I really like so far every single thing that I've heard from Animal Collective. There are songs that I've listened to for decades that I still don't understand what the lyrics are and I'm just not going to look them up. I want to continue to experience the song so it doesn't change the experience that I've had. You don't have to understand the lyrics to like something. So, 
until we meet again. You take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that is, quite frankly, a very good thing.